93 WIBC, WIBC WIBC.com. I'm Ray Steele, and I hadn't talked to this cat in a while, Um, not since my days down in Savannah. I've talked to every other uh, person in the family, it seems like. Just had Mama on not that long ago, but uh, he is off on his own, and he looks fantastic. And you can see how good this dude looks on his show. It's called Home for Dinner. It's on Food Network every weekend. Jamie Dean, and he's got a cookbook coming out, too, uh, shortly. We'll talk about that as well. But, Jamie, it's good to talk to you. How are you? Hey, Ray. I'm doing great, buddy. It's good to talk to you, too. We miss you down here. Well, that's, I, I, I don't believe that for a second. You, you're too busy to miss anybody, man. you got uh, you got the show going on. Uh, just started, what, uh, season number two of Home for Dinner, right? Yep, season two. Our, um, this coming up weekend will be the third episode of this season. And, of course, uh, Brooke and I have got our two boys. Matthew just turned two. Jack's uh, out of school for the summer. He'll be seven in a few months. So, we are certainly busy. There's no dull moments around the Dean House, I tell you what. I think a part of the gist of Home for Dinner is you've got the whole family involved from time to time. Now, I saw last week you were hanging out at the uh, fire department on Tybee Island, yep. set, setting stuff yep. on fire on the grill there. And yep. <laughs> But uh, uh, the Home for Dinner, it's it's a family-type show, and, and the whole family seems to be involved. Yeah, it's. Um, I'm happy to do it. You know, I'm just like so many other families, and and that have young kids. We're so busy. You know, I've got. You know, I'm running. I'm helping run the family business, of course, with Mom and Bobby, and and uh, Brooke's so busy here with the family and all our different schedules. So, you know, trying to come together for dinner every night's not really the easiest thing, but we feel like it's something you know worth the effort to do. So, we're cooking fresh, affordable. Uh, good food that tastes good, you know, things that, that we feel good about feeding our boys, and it also satisfies Brooke and I. So I know people are are, are interested in it, and, and any kind of tips you can get, that's a big challenge for people is, you know, what's for dinner tonight? Well, sure it is, but you need something quick, you need something easy, but as you said, you want it to be fresh. You don't want to have to be dragging a bunch of pre-prepared stuff uh, from the grocery yeah. store out of the frozen section home when you can do it and do it a, a lot healthier. You're way yeah and it's it's pretty simple too it's just a matter of um you know getting the blueprint for it and everybody wants new ideas and tips and once you see how simple it is to go to the market and pick up some fresh things uh, you just feel so much better than breaking out something that's frozen you're exactly right Jamie Dean is here. His a show on Food Network is called Home for Dinner and you got a cookbook coming out soon when does that come out uh, in September, I have a book coming out called Good Food, and I'm really excited about it. It's beautiful, and the back cover is actually Jack, and it's the 18 pages of a children's cookbook. I was so inspired when my mama gave me uh, a book when I was seven or eight years old, and I really love cooking out of it. So I'm most proud to, to have Jack involved, and it's got simple kids' recipes and you know some of his favorite things. So. I mean, it's just awesome. The book is gorgeous. The recipes are fantastic. But having Jack, you know, be a part of it with me makes it extra special. Yeah, I think your mama spoiled a little bit of the cookbook when I had her on. It's about a week ago or so. And she said that Jack has his own restaurant, quote, unquote, that he runs. Rooster's Restaurant is what it's called? Yeah, Rooster's Restaurant. Jack has had a... Uh, a make-believe restaurant in his playroom for the last couple of years, and Mom was his first customer, and <laughs> he came up with the name Rooster. So that that's the the name of sex, of the section of Jack's book is Rooster's Cafe. So that's his alter ego. He's he's 55 years old when he's Rooster, and <laughs> every other day he's six. Now, getting kids involved though that. More, at least with my kids, and maybe you found the same thing, Jamie. Getting them involved in the kitchen with what they are able to help with doesn't that help them eat more at the table? If you got a finicky kid, if you get them involved in the kitchen, that can sometimes go a long way in getting them to eat stuff that's good for yeah, them and tastes right. good that they might be scared of. Yeah, well, people ask me, you know, tips on how to get because both of our boys are good eaters and. That, that's that's the key. You're right. You know, the more that kids get in and touch stuff, they, they assume ownership of it. And, you know, they're proud of what they've done. And when it's ready to eat, they say, oh, look, you know, I made this. And so they're more liable to try it. So, And it's just a, a great place where 
you know, they kind of concentrate on what they're doing and everybody's guards down and, you know, it's just a great place for the family to come together. So my children have been in the kitchen with me. Jack started when he was two. Matthew's in there now and we've got a little garden together and when they see where food comes from, you know, the more they know about it, the more they are, to, you know, likely to eat it. So, you know, you're right. Jamie Dean is with me. Home for Dinner is his show on Food Network. It airs, I know it airs, is it Sunday mornings when it airs? Yep, Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. Now, if you saw Jamie Dean, if you go back and look at some of the older episodes of uh, Paula's shows and look at no, uh, Home don't. for Dinner, well, oh, come on now. <laughs> well, they, they still show them all the time on Food Network. But yep. there's, there's, there's a big difference between Jamie Dean back then and Jamie Dean now. You don't look like the same dude, man. Well, I've, um, and I, I, people say, golly, how'd you lose? I've probably lost 50 pounds, right? Mm-hmm. I'm down to about 195, and I was probably close to 250. And I eat like a six year old. That's my big secret for, you know, and that's kind of what we're showing in the shows and the cookbook is that if you can learn a lot from your children while you're teaching them something. And it's most important, I think, for parents to set their kids off on a, on a habit of good eating at a young age because the, you know the obesity rate for children and and adults here in the in the United States is really out of control. So it's important that we lead by example, and we obviously want our kids to eat the healthiest. So I eat what Jack eats, you know, and so does Brooke. So we're having a lot of fresh food, smaller portions. We eat at the correct times of the day. We don't eat after six o'clock, and and it's made a huge difference. So I haven't spent any time in the gym. You know, Bobby really loves doing that, but I'm just so busy. I'm very active, but I haven't really tried to lose any weight. It's, you know, I weigh myself every single morning, and over the last year, year and a half, you know, I've just steadily lost weight. So now I'm down to 195. I feel great, hmm. and you know, I give credit to the kids and and the food that we're eating here at the house, and that's it. Yeah, it it does change. I know you put on because uh, I know I did when my wife had our kids. You put on baby weight with the wife sometimes, and you just gotta you gotta work at taking that off as those kids are growing up. Yeah, you know, husbands put on their baby weight too. You know, you want to support your wife and you're with her, and you know when she's hungry and she's eat, literally <laughs> eating for two people. So I just began to eat bigger portions and. She was tired, and I was tired, and yeah. we just spent a lot of time laying around, you know. So it's one of those things that it's kind of slow, and, and, uh, and Brooke and I have done it together, you know. As she was trying to get her baby weight off, I, I I was right there with her, and we just feel so fortunate, you know, that because, you know, I started late having kids. So yeah. it's really important for me to really take good care of myself. I jump on the trampoline more now than I did when I was 12. <laughs> So, you know, I'm chasing these boys around, and we're swimming and having all this fun, and it's certainly a lot easier to do it when you're in semi-better, you know, semi-shape. I'm still soft and cuddly, Ray. Don't get me wrong. Well, of course. But, That'll never change. But, you know, I, I've just dropped 40 or 45 pounds. <laughs> made a huge difference. Well, what do we got to look forward to the rest of this season on Home for Dinner? Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. We've done 13 episodes, and my favorite show, I, I came up with the idea, and the team at the at Follow Productions and as well as the Food Network are so supportive and you know listen to ideas that I have. We're doing a 25 year anniversary special of the Bag Lady. You know the business that we started yeah. here in Atlanta that they kicked this whole thing off. And my mom and my dad and my brother uh, were all on the show, so all four of us were together for the first time and you know preparing old favorite recipes from the Bag Lady days and. It, these are highly produced home movies. I'm so happy to have these slices of time for my boys at their age. And that show is particularly special to me because we're all together again as a family. We had a great time doing it, so that's coming up in a few weeks. Can't wait to see it. It's always good to see uh, an old home for some of us, at least every so often. And uh, Home for Dinner with Jamie Dean is on Sunday mornings on Food Network. We'll have the link at uh, WIBC.com where you can check out the show, the recipes, and uh, Jamie himself. Jamie, it's good to talk to you, pal. Ray, it's great, to t- great to talk to you. Every time I go to a Sand Nats game, I think about you, buddy. We sure <laughs> do miss you down here, and we're proud of you, and I know you're doing good out there. All right. Thanks, man.